Generally, we leave our uniforms behind at high school, although it's surprising how many people look similar on their way to work. You can get a fair idea of a person's industry just by the way they are dressed. So what would you say about someone wearing this working wardrobe? The character Rosina was originally on a show called Hercules The Legendary Journeys and she was just supposed to appear for three episodes but they loved the character so much, the audience, the producers, that they decided to give her her own show, Xena Warrior Princess, which ran for six seasons and over a hundred episodes. Well, how did people respond to her? Well, at the time the show was really popular, I mean, because you've got these two really cool action chicks kicking butt, basically. But it's really after the show ended that we can see just what an impact Cena had on television, basically. Um, she's kind of become this cult character, Cena, and her companion, Gabrielle, really represent strength, friendship, competence, um, just really good role models, basically, for women. There is so much that we're looking at here, I don't know where to start. But firstly, it looks really well made, all these costumes. Did they take a lot of hard knocks? Well, yes, Xena was an action show, um, so the characters were always in fights and whatnot. Um, as you can see, we've got some pretty mean, mean looking weapons here. Yeah. Can you tell us about these? Weapons. Well, this is seen as sword, so this is mainly what she used while fighting, and this is what's called her chakram, and that's kind of thrown sort of like a boomerang. These are Gabrielle's weapons, they're called size. They're actually Japanese, but the show wasn't really too fussed about being authentic in any way. They just kind of really wanted to capture that fantastical, mythical element. Were they comfortable to wear? Well, no, not really. As you can see, they were pretty short, and Lucy Lawless was quite uncomfortable with the shortness to start with, and she also said that it was really hard to breathe in the costume because there was boning in the corset just to keep it keep its shape. But as you could imagine, wearing a costume for over 100 episodes, it would kind of become like a second skin, and that's how she felt about it at the end. These boots here, they're quite large. Did Xena have such big feet? Well, not really. What's actually quite cool about these boots is that there's actually a running shoe inside there. Because it's an action show, they were doing heaps of running, and so rather than have really uncomfortable boots that you could hardly move in, they wanted to just give that freedom of movement. I think one of the really cool things about Xena, it was shot in New Zealand, so the crew were New Zealanders. These were people that later went on to work on shows like Lord of the Rings and other shows that are shot in New Zealand, and so it really brings out that Kiwi sense of technical achievement in film. Seems pretty obvious, but I have to ask, are you a Xena fan? Most definitely. And is, I, there, a, is there a particular term for Xena fans? Well, Xena fans are called Xenites, um, but yeah, I just personally think it's a really great show about strong woman characters um, kicking some butt. Xena's costume epitomised her role as the warrior princess and female action hero. It can be really tiring on a TV shoot, so anyone who can wear this every day for six seasons must be a superwoman.